Christian rock music and so-called contemporary Christian music is filled with blasphemy of the Lord Jesus Christ. You want some examples of this? In the top row, you have a Spuds McKenzie type dog licking up a pool of vomit. Now, I don't know about you, but if I saw somebody walking down the street with a t-shirt on that had a dog licking up a pool of vomit, the first thing I'm going to think is, hey, a Christian, right? The next example is a t-shirt that says, God wiser, this blood's for you. Now, my question to every Christian watching this right now is, how much is the blood of Christ worth to you? Is it worth a can of Budweiser beer? This is a poster that CCM Magazine offered for sale called Jesus the Surfer. Now, Jesus Christ was not a surfer. Jesus Christ was a Jew. There's a very famous Christian rock performer who does the sign of allegiance to the devil in concert. We're going to take a look in a second at a video clip of her doing just that. You can find this sign on the back of the Satanic Bible by Anton LaVey. It doesn't mean I love you. It means allegiance to Satan. When the thumb and two middle fingers are turned down and the index and the pinky are turned up, it signifies the horns of the goat and that the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost are in subjection to the devil and Antichrist. Here's the performer that does this sign. It's Amy Grant. First, Amy's hand is down. Now it's moving up slowly. And right here is the Wiccan moon sign of Wiccan witchcraft. And we'll show you proof of that. Next, her hand goes up slowly. The Wiccan sign disappears, and she's doing the Cornuto Devil salute. Christian rock fans and defenders will say, but Matthew 7, 1 says, Judge not that thou be not judged. And they'll forget the other verses that follow, which say, Thou hypocrite, first cast the beam out of thine own eye, and then you will be able to see clearly to cast the mote out of thy brother's eye. You know that the kind of Jesus that's coming through Christian rock and CCM today is a hippie buddy. He's your good friend. This first started with Jesus Christ Superstar many, many years ago. Jesus Christ is not a superstar. Jesus Christ is the Lord of glory and the Savior of mankind. How would you like to have those guys come play at your church next Sunday? Now, who wears red hooded robes? Satanists do. There's another part of this video you need to be aware of. Strange hand movements and strange uh, body stances are throughout MTV secular videos. Those aren't dancing. Those aren't choreography. Many times those are something called witchcraft runing. Those are hand signs and signals meant to call up demons. In the world of the occult, this is well known for people that have delved into it for many years. There are those who claim that the volume and the beat are evil because rock music came from the jungles of Africa and the worship of demons. People who say this don't know much about music history. The foundations of rock music can be traced directly back to the beginnings of the black American church in this country. That is a lie. Rock and roll music has always been a part of every pagan culture, and what it was used for was the worship of demons. What about Christian rap? Well, if Christian rock is wrong, then Christian rap is wrong, too. What is rap music, anyway? It's a vain repetition. There's a new movement sweeping the U.S. and also around the world. It's called Christian thrash. What is Christian thrash? It's punk rock and heavy metal combined, all in the name of Jesus. Here's what goes on at Christian thrash concerts. Jesus is my best friend, my best friend. Now, anyone with an ounce of sense and two brain cells knocking together knows that junk isn't Christian. The other alternative to ungodly music is the Word of God on cassette tape. Let it saturate your mind and match it with your daily reading. The third alternative to ungodly music is godly Christian music. It is out there. My encouragement to you is to seek the Lord's face with everything you've got, and He'll lead you straight to it. And that's my encouragement to you, and thank you very much for watching this video.